What's up everyone, it's the Razor Edge, and today I'm here to bring you guys a bit of a different video. Today we are going to be opening some of the Gears of War Mystery Mini vinyl figures here, and uh, as you can see I have a bit of a collection of them assembled for you guys, and uh, there's about 13 of them here today that we're going to open, and this is actually kind of like a follow-up uh, to a Mystery Mini figure video I did like a long time ago. And I actually purchased these like months ago, meaning to do this video for, for the longest time, but I've just been actually, um, for those of you who don't know, I'm actually kind of like an avid Gears of War collector, so I've been kind of sorting out my collection and kind of putting things into a display. And uh, But the one thing that I really love about the Mystery Mini figures is that in order to actually enjoy them, they're one of the figures that you actually have to open. So like, I actually hate opening collectibles. I like if they have a window box, uh, leave them in the box and put them on display. But the thing about the uh, Mystery Minis is, is that you actually, you know, you have to open them because you don't know what's inside. It's all kind of like uh, RNG base. You don't know what you're gonna get and then you get to enjoy the figure uh, out physically, which is is really nice so uh, last time uh, I actually got the the figures I got were Carmine, Baird, Dom, the Locust Drone, General Rom, uh, Marcus Phoenix, uh, the Swarm Sniper, Coltrane and JD Phoenix so I'm actually missing a few uh, if we look at the back here uh, you can see I don't know I don't know if you can see if it focuses or not but uh, on the back there uh, we have, let's see, so there is, what am I missing? I'm missing Dell. Uh, I'm missing a version of Clayton Carmine. There's a couple of versions of him, of him in here. And then, let's see, what else? And then I'm missing the, the Swarm Pouncers and the Golden Gear. So there is a couple of things here, uh, and that's why I'm back for, for round two. I want to make sure I get everything. And the major one that I want is the uh, Glow in the Dark. Uh, Pouncer, which is the one that I'm really really after so let's get stuck into the opening here and uh, get stuck into the first one here So hopefully they're easy enough to open So There we are and throw that plastic down to the side there it is right there and then let's see how does this pop open exactly? I'm sure it's easy enough. Okay, it kind of peels off here like that then we got a kind of a uh, Well these kind of tuck, okay? Well, so those kind of tuck in like that. There you go. So when they open up and then we have the little black baggie inside uh, So just from feeling this What does this feel like? Hmm, I have no idea <laughs> So let's uh, let's open this like this Yeah. Open up there bud And then we'll pop it out of the bag. Oh look it is a Swarm sniper look at that can I get the focus in on him there? Will it focus? I don't know. Come on there, camera, you can do it. No, if I pull him away a bit. Yeah, there you go, for a second. There we go, <laughs> happy day. So there is the uh, Swarm Sniper with the long shot equipped and all. I actually have him already, so that's kind of cool. So I can uh, kind of have him displayed elsewhere in the household. So I'll put him down there for the minute. So let's get box number two here. Uh, and peel this off like so throw that plastic down and then this kind of it's kind of like a lightly uh, it's kind of light light glue kind of thing it's not uh, it's not like an insert and then these kind of these aren't as straightforward it's kind of like a little lip that comes out there right there so uh, we have bag number two here and feeling this one ooh oh I already know what this is just by feeling it so let's uh, let's open this like this. Oh my God! <laughs> Look at him! Look at what it is! Oh my God! This is actually the rarest figure, as far as I'm aware, that you can get out of the mystery mini packets. It is uh, the glow in the dark uh, swarm panther. Look at that man! If it will focus, that'd be ever so nice. Because it's focusing on something else there, I'm sure. Come on. You can do it. Focus. Come on. It can do it. It can do it. No. You guys can get the idea of it there though. There it is, the swarm pouncer man, glow in the dark. That's so cool. He's got like eyes on one side too, like you look at the other side. There's nah. I don't know if that's is that intentional or not? I think he has some paint missing, actually. <laughs> I don't know if that is intentional, but there he is. We got the glow in the dark swarm pouncer, so that's a uh, that's a huge uh, that's a huge get right off of the bat. I think he's actually missing some paint off of his eyes. That's uh, that's kind of a shame, but 
Uh, one thing I was hoping for is actually to get uh, a replacement for my coal train because the paint job on his head is actually uh, not uh, not great. He's missing some paint. Um, so we have box number three here. Uh, Let's open her up here. It's like stuck. Come on now. There we go. Happy days. All right, so box number three. Oh, this one's small. Uh, I have no idea. I was pretty good at guessing which they were last time. Oh, look at that! It's Kate with our Nasher. I don't think I have her. No, I definitely don't. Uh, so there is Kate right there. If we can get a focus at all. Come on, please. I don't know what it's focusing on that's taking the focus away. But you guys can kind of get the idea. The camera says it's picking up her face there, but it's not really doing a good job. Come on, maybe. If I bring it up really close. You gonna do it, camera? There we go. Kind of better. <laughs> better than nothing, I guess. But there is Kate right there. You can see her kind of like shirt tying around her waist there. Uh, holding the Nasher, got her gloves and her classic old beanie. Her kind of paint a bit here. Oh no, I thought that was actually paint scraped off, but that's actually the, the hair piece from uh, in the outsider culture that signifies something, so put that down there. That's two that I didn't have already, so that's actually really, really nice. So let's uh, get stuck into the, I think the fourth one here. Let's get these boxes out of the way. Do, do, do. And let's, uh, let's move these figures for now, just in case they're kind of taking the focus out of the frame. Let me put them back here. All right, let's get those out there. All right, box number four. Yes, box number four. Let's open this. Do, do, do. There you go. Good thing I'm deciding to do this off camera because I look like I'm making a right Mickey of everything. <laughs> so let's uh, peel that off. Ooh, that actually ripped it that time. That's the first time that's happened. Look, made a Mickey of it. Uh, right, little tongue thing isn't coming out. There we go. It's like tougher each time. All right, so this one is uh, just by feeling it. It's someone holding a chainsaw gun anyway. I feel so. Oh no, it's not even a chainsaw gun. It's actually it's your boy Del Walker. He's holding the buzz kill. Look at that. <laughs> Let's. Uh, See if we can get some focus on him. Come on, Dell. Don't do me like that. He's holding the buzz kill there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Come on, camera. Cameras are something else, aren't they? You could do it, camera. Come on. No? Not gonna happen? If I hold him really far back, you can kind of see him a bit better. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. And if I bring him in slowly, will it kind of cooperate with me I don't know but there he is that's the best it's gonna get I think but he's holding the buzz kill right there so that's three uh, characters that I didn't have already so that's really good I have to say so I can put him over to the side over here I'll get a better shot of them after uh, for you guys so don't worry about that uh, duh, duh, duh. let's open this one alright well this one rip no this one looks like it could be a smooth opening. Get that one out. And then pop the bag out right there. And then this one is... Um, okay, maybe this one's a chainsaw gun. Let's have a look. Or it could be Dell again, that'd be insane. <laughs> oh, we got Baird, hey, look at that. We got your boy Baird. Happy days. He's actually, this, uh, this one's actually a really good paint job. Uh, I'll, I'll put these side by side with the ones that um, that I have in my collection. Oh look, there's a good focus right there. Thank you, camera. There's a good focus. Maybe if I keep my hand there and I take Dell in, right? Oh, I didn't really do a good job there, did I? Oh look, there's a good focus on Dell. Look at that. Yeah, I think I need to cover like all the faces in the background. That's what the problem was. And then uh, here is the the pouncer there. Look, and as you can see, the paint's like missing off of his eyes on the, on his right side. So I don't know if that's intentional or not. I don't think it is, but there's a good look at the characters that you guys can get to see. Or maybe we can get Kate in there as well while things are going good. Yeah, there she is, look at that. 
perfect. Happy, happy days. Thank you, camera. <laughs> um, all right, let's get stuck into the next box here. I've, I've lost count. I think it's five or six. Probably six. I don't know. There's 13 total, anyway. Uh, what is the next one? Hopping that off. Ooh, I think I found the, the tactic to open these smoothly. Um, got stuff on the table here. Let's get everything off. I'm just kind of throwing everything around the room. So I've got some cleanup to do after. So there's the next one. Open it up. Go on, you got thick. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, baby, look at that. We got uh, your boy Dominic Santiago. If he will focus there at all. I don't know. Come on, focus. The camera is adjusting to him. There we go, maybe, a little bit. I have to say, this paint job is much better than the one that I actually have. He's like missing paint off of the top of his head and he's got the, the kind of classic Dom beard going on there. So this will be the replacement for the one that I have at the moment. So thank you, <laughs> Funko, uh, for doing uh, some good paint jobs. But damn, yeah, that looks really, really good. And he's always oh, even got his Maria tattoo there on his arm. If that would focus, that'd be great, please. Come on. I'm trying to cover all the boxes in the background. I think that's what the problem is. Uh, yeah, oh, there you go. Look, he's, he's got the Maria tattoo like on his arm there, which is really, really cool. So you guys probably got a glimpse of that for a second. All right, so there's another one. So I got uh, three characters. One, two, three. Yeah, three characters that I don't have, and then I got the replacement Dom Santiago, and uh, I'm hoping for a coal train in here as well, because his paint job was a little bit scuffed on the one that I got as well, so. Uh, let's get this stuff out of the way. For some reason I thought I was gonna need a knife for this, but uh, not really. Let's see if I can open this one on camera. Okay. Yeah, there we go, see? And get the bag out. And then this one is, uh, he's holding a uh, Lancer anyways, whoever it is. Oh look! <laughs> Isn't this the fun of Aura G? We got, uh, we got Baird again, look at that. Oh, good job camera, look at that! There's a good look at Baird. There's the back and everything, and there's the goggles. Classic, classic Baird. Got another duplicate, so I, I get to display these around the house somewhere. Or maybe I might, uh, I don't know, leave a comment down below, I'll, I'll see what, what I could do in terms of like maybe sending one of these to one of you guys or to you guys for the duplicates that I get. If you're interested, uh, leave a comment. Um, Alright, then we can open this next one here. We only have five to open after. Alright, so then, so we just peel this, like so, and then it's a bit of glue there, so. Open that up, we do the sides. Bag. Oh, this is a. Oh, this is a big one. Whatever this is, I know who it is already, and I'm hoping, right? Let's just get the reveal out of the way. Oh, look at that! Beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that just like amazing? Come on, camera. You know you want to. Got love from my boy Rom. <laughs> but uh, until it focuses there, that is a general ROM right there. And now the problem with this one is, is in my display case, there's a good look at him there actually, is that he, the way his feet are positioned is that he actually falls over a lot. Uh, he's kind of wobbly. This one kind of is a little bit as well, but it's actually better than a, the other one. The other one you kind of tip him and he'll just fall over, but this one seems to be have better foot placement. So. Just kind of a tip to Funko if you're watching. Uh, figures that are like this, if you could, uh, you know, make their feet a bit level so they don't kind of fall over. Or at least maybe, you know, give us pins in the feet, like, you know, classic uh, three and three quarter inch figures that we could put them in kind of stands. That would be great. Uh, so there's that as well. I'll make sure to not, when I'm stacking them over here, not to have them rubbing off each other so I don't, uh, <laughs> I don't destroy the paint phone there. All right, let's get stuck into the next one. Only four more after this. So what am I missing now? I don't know. Let's see if you guys can see the back there, but uh, off of the back I'm missing. So I'm missing the regular pouncer. Uh, I'm missing the golden gear, and then there is 
I, that's, I think that's the variant of gear I have right there on the bottom. Um, if that would focus. I don't know what it's focusing on. I'd pardon my shoddy camera work, but uh, the one that's here, <laughs> anyway, uh, I think that's the one I have, and then that's one I don't have, and then that's one I don't have. So uh, we have a couple more to get. So let's get stuck into this one anyway. So we're, we're missing some Carmine Gear-esque characters anyway, so. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Opening a D-Swan. All right, so this one feels, this one feels like a pouncer, so I think that's what it could be. Oh yeah, look at him, here he comes. There he is in there, look at that. Uh, oh, and this one's missing his right eyes as well, so maybe that's the way he's supposed to be. Look at that. But that's cool, the way I got both Pouncers. I love, I love, 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 love the Pouncer in Gears of War 4. It is hands down my favorite AI in the game. It's so clever. Uh, it's actually ridiculous. And facing it on insane and inconceivable is uh, beyond ridiculous. So uh, maybe if I just hold it out here. Maybe it's my hand that's just blurring everything. Uh, we just hold them there. What I'll do is, is I'll, I'll put everything into frame. Maybe having the boxes in frame has been my problem this whole time, but maybe I'm just holding it too close. But there's a good look at the pouncer, and then we can actually get the other one as well. So there's uh, the both of them there. They're both missing their right eyes. That's not a detail on the pouncer in-game that I've noticed, so uh, maybe that's just me being a bit ignorant. <laughs> Who knows? So I did, I'm actually kind of happy because I thought that uh, I, I got like a, a bad painted um, mystery minifigure, so hopefully not. So we have uh, four more remaining, so let's get stuck into the fourth last one here. By the way, thank you Funko for this. Look at this, right? See that? All I have to do is pull it and it comes off. That's great. It is fantastic. Uh, it certainly makes, uh, it's like they had these kind of videos in mind. <laughs> um, all right, so let's open this. So I'm hoping for the, the golden gear is the one I'm looking for right now, to be honest. Uh, Damn, the glue on that one was a bit stronger than the last few. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, so now we have this one. Uh, I think whoever's in there has hair. My guess is Dom. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I was totally wrong. He definitely does not have hair. I kind of felt the the eye line there. Can I hold that back? Will it focus in there? It is the Locust Drone anyway. So to be honest, what's cool about these is that they're kind of like stormtroopers, like for Star Wars, right? Is that um, if I move these boxes, right, will this solve our problem? Maybe get them out of frame. Will it? Or is the camera just being weird? It's probably a bit better anyways. Well. There is a Locust Drone, but as I was saying, these guys are like Stormtroopers. You can have so many of these and you can army build these guys. You can just have a bunch of them displayed, which is really, really cool. But there is the Locust Drone, which is really, really good. I actually, <laughs> I really, really love that. And he has the, the classic hammer burst uh, in his hand there as well. So let's uh, move on to the next one. We have three more in frame there. There's three there. All right, now let's get stuck into the third last one here. Pop this. Still no golden gear, and uh, and I have one more Clayton Carmine variant that I don't have yet. So sad face. Maybe there. If we clutch up in this last few packs here, imagine that we got everything we needed. Uh, okay. So there it is right here. I feel. Oh, it's someone holding up a lancer. So who's holding up a lancer? Oh, I think Marcus is, isn't he? As far as I'm aware. Come on, come on up there. Oh, it is Clayton, look at that. Oh, is this one that I have? I don't think so. Uh, there he is right there anyways. Oh, look at that camera focus right there. If I hold it off to the side maybe, I don't know. It is, the camera is focusing on his face, so it says, but uh, there is Clayton right there and it says uh, Grub Killer on his chest. Come on. Give me a big focus there. No? I'll give you five seconds. Four, three, two, one. 
No, not happening? Okay, well, thanks camera. <laughs> but uh, there is Clayton. I don't know if this is the one that I have or not. Um, you know what, I can look at my phone real quick and see if it is the one that I have. It, it is definitely the one that I have, so that is a duplicate right there. Uh, damn it. <laughs> but still cool either way. I know there's a lot of Clayton Carmine fans on my channel. Uh, let's see. Alright, so second to last one here. Let's open her up. Alright. Please, golden gear. Golden gear, please. Uh, hmm. I'm just feeling around. I have no idea what this is. Okay, he's holding a chainsaw gun, whoever it is. Chainsaw gun, listen to me. He's holding a lancer. Pardon, pardon me. Is this... Oh, it's Coltrane! Look at that! Hey, what up, Cole? What up, sucker? Uh... Oh my god, man. And he has, like, a perfect hairdo. I was hoping for the Coltrane, you guys already know, so that's a great replacement. The paint job on him is absolutely perfect. Basically, up here, he's got, like, a big scratch on the one that I have, but that's really cool. I'm so happy. <laughs> Look at his armor's, like, super silver, like, white silver in comparison to uh, all the others. Looks really, really good there. Happy days. All right, so if we can... Down to the last one here. If we could get Golden Gear or the other... Uh, Carmine variant that would be fantastic if not then we are in for uh, a sad time and probably I'll need to do another video like this at some point so <laughs> oh yeah yeah well I definitely will because I'm missing a couple so but it's good that I've updated my collection that I'm only missing a couple of them now so uh, well maybe only one let's see so let's open this one on camera like so all right so uh, to feel. Hmm. I think he's holding a lancer. So. Duh, duh, duh. Oh, no, not a lancer. It's actually it's Kate again. <laughs> uh, maybe this is an omen because she is the uh, protagonist of Gears of War Five. So, but there's a. Nice little look at Kate there. I don't know if I back her up a bit. Uh, I definitely need to practice using this camera a bit more. That's for certain. <laughs> but uh, there is Kate right there. So uh, let's uh, let's get kind of an assembly of all the ones that I've that I've gotten in, in frame here. Alrighty. So hopefully this is a better look at each and every one of them, and I've kind of sorted them into subcategories of uh, you know ones that I personally needed and all that. So the very front we have. Uh, the Glow in the Dark Swarm Pouncer, Kate Diaz, the Normal Pouncer, and Del Walker, which were ones that I didn't have before and want to add to my collection. So, Glow in the Dark, Kate, Normal Pouncer, and Del Walker. And then in the back here, this group uh, are all duplicates uh, that I already have. I already have Ram, Clayton, Carmine. We got two birds in that opening. Uh, we have the Swarm Sniper and, uh, of course, the Locust Drone. And the Locust Drone is one that I don't mind getting duplicates of because, obviously, you, as I said earlier, they're kind of like Star Wars Stormtroopers for collectors. You can just army build with them because, you know, in the story, all Locust Drones look the same. And then the, these two here are duplicates for me, but they have better paint jobs than the ones that I had previous, so that's really nice for me, so I'm going to replace those in my collection. So they look really, really nice. And then we got... Uh, I never had Kate before and that was kind of like a new duplicate if you know what I mean so uh, we have that there but uh, yeah that's uh, that's been a really really good opening unfortunately I am still missing uh, a couple of uh, characters um, I would love to hold this up to the camera so you guys could see which ones I am missing but since it won't focus it refuses it's uh, basically I need um, it's kind of like an unmarked version of Clayton Carmine it's, he's, he doesn't have Grub Killer on his chest. And then I need uh, the Golden Gear as well, which uh, him and the Swarm Pouncer are the hardest to get because they have a, a 1 in 36 chance. Actually, all the ones on the bottom here have a 1 in 36 chance. Uh, all the ones on the bottom there, so I don't know if that's going to like at all focus, but uh, basically you get the gist. The ones on the bottom there are the hardest to get. 
Um, surprised I didn't get more duplicates there. Uh, all the rest are all 1 in 12. That pouncer there is 1 in 24, so yeah, that was pretty successful. So we have one kind of more bonus part to this video uh, that I want to include, so uh, let's get stuck into that part. Alrighty, so for this bonus part of the video, for those of you who don't know, I'm actually sponsored by Loot Crate slash uh, Loot Gaming, lootcrate.com forward slash The Razored Edge, and use discount code The Razored Edge to get 10% off. I've actually kind of uh, renewed my uh, partnership with Loot Crate. Uh, we used to do stuff together, and then uh, kind of took up a bit of hiatus, and now uh, we're kind of back together again doing things, and they're going to be sending me. Uh, uh, crates every so often to open for you guys and share what's going on so uh, I thought it'd be a good idea to include it in this Gears of War collectible video as a way to say welcome back to Loot Crate to the channel uh, so if you guys want to go ahead and uh, you know use that link that's up to you uh, obviously you will see if there's anything in here that gauges your interest I have no idea what's in here I didn't look up to see what the I think the way that Loot Crate do things it's uh, themed monthly um, and this is loot gaming specific, so it's kind of guaranteed that I will like what's in it And I've already kind of uh, taken the liberty of opening the bottom there Just so I don't have to kind of butcher things with a knife So let's uh, big reveal this, shall we? No way! <laughs> it, it's, there's Gears of War stuff in here? Okay, so whoever... Um, yeah Whoever at Loot Crate was keeping an eye on my channel, man, <laughs> they know, they, they knew when to, when to come back to me, man, oh my god. So we have a Gears of War fleece throw. Uh, I mean, we're headed towards spring right now, but I'm definitely gonna, I'll use this on my bed sheets, honestly. I'll put it over the top of the cross, uh, over across the top of it, is the word I want to say. Um, you know what, I will open it, since I am going to use it anyway, so... So why not? Alright. Oh my god, it's so soft. <laughs> we have it. We have it right here. Uh, let's see if I can get some details off of it. Also, it's got all of the weapons on it, which is really nice. Uh, so it's got like a huge omen on it. Uh, it's kind of pinned there. But yeah, there's like, there's some details on it, like there's the snub, uh, the lancer, nasher, uh, yeah, there's grenades, the long shots on there, and then there's like a, there's like a huge omen on it as well. That's really cool, so shout out to, to Loot Crate for kind of going out of their way to send me one with something Gears of War related in it. That's really cool, I did not expect that, so. And then these are the kind of collectible uh, loot crate pins. So this is probably, this looks like, I'm guessing this is Galaga. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. But there is the Galaga pin. I'm going to learn how to focus this camera. <laughs> I'm going to learn how to do it. I mean, I could try right here. Uh, nah, that ain't happening. But there you go, there's the Galaga pin. You guys can get a kind of a look at it there. The collectible pin. They used to say by month uh, what was on it. I actually have a couple of old ones here. This one was called uh, Mythic from November of 2016. <laughs> so they're still going. I wonder, is there anyone in the world that hasn't missed a Loot Crate pin? That'd be kind of insane. Uh, so what's this? Oh, this is going to be a t-shirt, I think, maybe. Because uh, they always have a t-shirt in there. No way! Oh my god! <laughs> this is Halo themed. So, obviously classic Spartan green, but it says uh, Spartan program. On there with the UNSC kind of uh, Eagle Falcon logo, whatever you want to call it. That's amazing. So we have Halo and Gears of War in the one in the one thing. This is amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Loot Crate. Um, then we have this. Uh, Galaga. I'm not sure what this is exactly. Is this another t-shirt or is it like a... Oh, it's like a... It's like a bag. Uh, I'm not going to open this because I'm sure there's probably someone that I, I know that might like this, but... Uh, it's like a kind of, uh, it's kind of like a fabric Galaga bag. I'm not super familiar with Galaga, so. 
anyone in the comments wants to fill me in on it, please do. Don't crucify me for not knowing. And then we have a Mass Effect 2019 calendar with your boy Shepard on the front right there. That's amazing. Uh, that's Ma I think that's Mass Effect 3 in particular. Um, oh, that's handy. Look. Look at that. That's really dope, actually. <laughs> See, it seems kind of like space themed and then, uh, but then it has that Gears of War thing in there. Uh, yeah, that's really, that's really cool. Flick through all the mods. Is that Andromeda? I think it is. Uh, yeah, look at that. And then there's the year in there as well. That's really cool. Thank you for that. And then, let's see, those are the last couple things in here. So they do, they do posters and stuff as well. Uh, oh, so this is their big poster. What is on this? Uh, oh my lord. Okay, this is like a huge... It's like a huge Mass Effect poster. I don't know if I can get that in frame. You guys can kind of get a good look at it there. Maybe. There's a look at it there. The, the Normandy, isn't that what it's called? Yeah. That's cool. I like me some Mass Effect. It's been ages since I've played the first three. Uh, so let's throw that to the side, and then we have... Uh, a gift card for... HelloFresh. $60 gift card. 20% off first three deliveries. You guys probably saw that, so if anyone wants that, you can have it. Uh, that's all yours. It's in dollars as well, so I'm not from the USA, so if one of you wants that, that's all yours. I don't mind. Uh, claim within 30 days, so I don't know when that expires, so it's entirely up to you guys. So if you, anyone gets it, let me know. And then uh, there's something Elder Scrolls related in here. So it's officially exclusive of Elder Scrolls gear from across Tamriel. Begin. Okay. Uh, oh, this is letting us know about the Elder Scrolls crate, so you guys can use my link if you're interested in that. Uh, to, to go ahead and get that use discount code at the Razor Edge and then that's everything in there so obviously the highlight of that for me was the uh, the Gears of War uh, kind of bed throw cozy thing and then the the Halo Spartan t-shirt so there's always something in there uh, that you're interested in and anything you don't really want you can always give to a friend as a gift but uh, that has been it for the video guys I hope you enjoyed the Gears of War uh, mystery mini collectible opening and uh, all that jazz. Um, let me know if you guys are interested in more collectible openings in the future. I'm obviously going to be doing them, but if you guys want me to kind of increase the volume of them, uh, I'll definitely try and go ahead and do that. But uh, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel for all future Gears of War related content. Share the video around if you really enjoyed it. Follow me on Twitter at the Razored Edge. Discord link in the description. LootCrate.com slash the Razored Edge. Use discount code the Razored Edge to get 10% off. And I will see you guys next time. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought, subscribe to my channel if you're brand new for more videos, share the video around if you really enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.